hi guys and welcome back another day another lovely project for you this time i'm going to show you how to crochet this simple and very fast santa's head today's project we are going to need some scissors i'll be using a four millimeter hook uh, but on my yarn uh the simply chunky it says i should use um I should use six millimeters uh, hook, but I done it with six millimeter hooks. And um, let me just say the gaps were a little bit too big. So I decided to go with number four this time. And also, so you will need uh, a white color and the red, but it's up to you. Of course, your Santa's head can be uh, the colors you like. They may be green instead of red or it's up to you what colors you're gonna use i'll be using this simply chunky yarn also you will need a yarn needle and that's first it. we are going to start with the ribbing and then we're gonna um, do the red part and then we're gonna end up with the lovely pom-pom bow in the end so to start ribbing we are going to simply start with the slip knot so hold your yarn tail like so create a cross go under your first one on top of the second one twist your hook and release after you create a slip knot we are going to chain 20 so wrap the yarn around your hook and pull through so we have one two three four five six seven carry on until you get your 20 stitches For my ribbing i decided to go single crochet ribbing so it means i'll be uh, doing a single crochet all the way down so um skip this first stitch here and we are going to do single crochet into this second one from your hook so insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over again and pull through both loops like so insert your hook yarn over yarn over again and go down insert your hook yarn over yarn over again and pull through both loops insert your hook yarn over yarn over again and all the way down i have my last three um stitches left here insert your hook yarn over and pull through insert your hook yarn over and pull through and the last one here into your hook yarn over and pull through and you should have 19 stitches because we chained 20 but we skipped one at the beginning so we should have 19 so i think it's gonna look uh, very nice when you fold it so this is your ribbing but if you want uh, your ribbing to be wider, go ahead and chain more. Up to 30 or 40, it's up to you. As you can fold it and it's going to look lovely around your head. So, we have 19. Going to chain one. And turn our work. And we are going to work into this stitch here but we are going to work only under this back stitch okay the back loop this is the stitch this is the front one front loop and back loop and we are going to work only under this back loop so be skipping this one and insert your hook yarn over two loops on your hook yarn over again and pull through and that's what you're gonna do all the way down insert your hook yarn over 
yarn over again insert your hook yarn over yarn over again and pull through insert your hook yarn over yarn over again pull through two insert your hook yarn over yarn over again and this is our single crochet ribbing only into the back loop we working only into the back one insert your hook yarn over and pull through two insert your hook and pull through two carry on all the way down so i have last two stitches here so i'm going to do one more single crochet here back loop only but the last stitch this one here is the front loop and the back loop but in the last stitch you always want to go through both loops and it's much more secure for both loops but be before you turn okay so go under the both loops yarn over pull through yarn over again and pull through both now we can chain one and turn your work and again skip this one and work into this one but again only into the back loop only like we did before and that's it really carry on this way and don't forget when you got to the end you chain under these both loops as you finish your round insert your hook your nova and carry on carry on carry on until you can wrap your ribbing around your head not too tight not too loose so your ribbing must sit around your head comfortably so carry on this way until you finish your ribbing and then I show you what to do next and remember guys last stitch you need to go under both loops like so yarn over chain one and turn your work and that's all you have to do for so your ribbing. I have just finished my ribbing and it looks and it looks something like this and i have 54 rows so um you count your rows like this so this is one two three four five six seven eight and so on so you should have if if you have 54 uh rows like me you will be placing 54 stitches all around but we need one more row here to create to close um our ribbing so this one will become 55th row and i show you how to do this as this will uh, become our 55th uh, row of course you will need 55 uh 55 stitches all the way around and i show you how to do it just in the sec but first thing we are going to uh close our ribbing so we finish like this and um we want to go under this first stitch here and we are going to go under this back loop from your opposite side so we are going to go under this this loop here and simply do a single crochet just like this and again into the next stitch both loops and from your opposite side you need only the back loop like it's here okay so uh, we go full stitch here and on the back loop like so 
wrap the yarn around your hook and do a single crochet just like this and again under your stitch and from the opposite only the back loop like so and do this all the way down and make sure your stitching your stitches are nicely placed together like so so i have my last two stitches here and the back loop and single crochet and the last one the last stitch you're gonna do full stitch here and full stitch there so it's much more stronger okay so this is our last one and we have it something like this so we got like a fifth row so now we have all together 55 rows so we're gonna place 55 stitches all the way around and when you finish your stitching here you're simply going to cut your yarn off and finish it and gonna hide the ends so don't forget to hide your ends gonna do it in this last row there we go and do one more so once we are done with our ribbing it should look something like this okay so place your ribbing wrong side up just like this and we are going to place a stitch just right here and we are placing this ribbing wrong side up because this ribbing will become something like this so we're gonna fold it and that's why it need to be wrong side up okay so to start we are going to grab the uh, red yarn and we're gonna simply create a slip knot you know how to do the slip knot now we're gonna take our ribbing Take your hook off and place it just right in the middle here. Put the loop back and bring it up and chain one. Now we can place our 55 chains or depends how many rows you've done but my head is quite small so this is only 55 rows for me so i will need only 55 chains all the way around okay so our first one will be here remember so bring it up and do a single crochet insert your hook next one will be here so this is one two The next one skipping this and next one next two will be here so single crochet here and single crochet here and again this is this uh, doesn't count so we're gonna place two stitches again just between our rows so it's like one here and one here and again single crochet and single crochet carry on all the way 
around so i'm finishing my first row of a uh, single crochet and i am going to place my last stitch here and then i am going to do a single crochet into this first stitch here first stitch and do a single crochet and bring your yarn up or your loop and it's a good idea to place a stitch marker into this first stitch here because we will be working into the spirals so um, it's a good idea to put the stitch marker not there so we know where, where is your first stitch if you don't have a stitch marker like me you can just bring a piece of yarn and bring it in just like this and you know where is your first stitch so after you placed your stitch marker you simply going to do exactly the same we are going to place single crochet all the way around just like this all the way around in every single stitch we are going to do single crochet in every stitch make your stitches nice and tight and we are going to do this all the way around and i meet you in the end to show you again how to finish this round guys i'm finishing uh my row number two so i'm placing one more single crochet and again you are simply going to place another single uh, crochet into this first stitch here where you place your stitch marker and you're just gonna replace your stitch marker again into this first stitch here just like this so we know where is you start and you are going to work into a spiral and placing single crochet all the way around until you get to your row number 10. For the toddlers, it will be a little bit different, but in this video, I am going to do a uh, Santa's hat for adults. So do your 10 rows and I meet you after you've done your 10 rows. It's a good idea to have a stitch uh, counter. If you don't have it, don't worry. You just grab a piece of paper and your pen and si simply write your rounds, just like me. And when you get to round 10, then I am going to show you what to do next. So guys, I finished my 10th uh, row and I have just two stitches left here. So I'm going to do one and two just like this so i have done my 10 rows and as you can see it's looking amazing and from now on we can start to decrease and it's a good idea to try your head on now and see if it's uh, big enough for you so for men size it could be maybe bigger so um you can simply just add more rows so for example 11 12 or 13 if you want your head to be uh longer and then start to shape around your head okay depends on your head so for the children we do six rows and then we start to decrease but for adult size for this video we are doing 10 rows so it's good time to start to decrease. Please follow my chart for decreasing rows. So I finished my 10th row and now I'm going to place the stitch marker here. Where was my last stitch? So I'm going to place my stitch marker over here. And now we are going to do our decrease. So our decrease will be 
two single crochet together and following with three single crochet in the next three stitches I show you how to do it now so insert your hook yarn over bring up your loop insert your hook into the next stitch again and bring up the loop so get three stitches on your hook yarn over and pull through all three and this is two single crochet together now we're simply going to do single crochet one two and three and again we are going to do decrease two single crochet together insert your hook yarn over bring up the loop insert your hook in the next stitch and bring it up and yarn over and pull through all three loops and it could again two single crochet together and that's that's our decrease so and again three single crochet in the next three stitches one two and three and again decrease so insert your hook bring up insert your hook bring it up yarn over and pull through all three and this is our decrease and that's what we're going to do all the way around and I meet you just before the end and so I have two together one single crochet two and the third one here carry on so I have just done my uh, decrease and then I'm going to do one single crochet two and the last one here so I have my uh, last uh, single crochet here and I am about to start my uh, next row. So I done my row 11. So row 11 was decrease. So the next one, row 12 to row 16, it will be just single crochet again in the spiral. So um, this is my row 11 decrease. So I'm starting a single crochet in a row 12 and um, row 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16 will be single crochet all the way around and then the decrease will be row 17 and again you will be doing decrease in a row 17 and then the next row 18, 19, 20, 21 and 22 will be single crochet again do this single crochet rounds and decreasing rounds until you get uh, to your round 35 or row 35 please note sometimes your decrease may not be perfect so simply just add one more stitch so guys i just finished my row 35 and from now on we'll be decreasing every four, fourth round so we'll be doing three rounds of a uh, uh, single crochet and then the fourth one will be decreased and then again three rounds of a uh, single crochet and then the next round will be decreasing again so uh as we done before we were decreasing five rows and then the sixth one was the decrease so from now on we'll be doing the same but every fourth round will be our decrease so my last row 35 uh, was a decrease so now i'm going to do exactly the same i'll be doing three more rounds of single crochet and then after that i will do another round of decrease so round 36 to 39 will be my single crochet and then around 40 will be my decrease so as i don't want my uh tail to be too long i'll be decreasing fourth round will be my decrease so for example this is my last uh row 35 so that that was my decrease so 36 37 38 will be single crochet and then 39th which is my fourth row will be decrease again and you should do the, these decreases 
four to five times it's up to you really how long do you want your uh, tail so guys my last row is row 55 and i decided to stop here i won't be decreasing any uh, more because i don't want my head to be extremely uh long so simply just take your stitch mark out and simply just make a single crochet just like this and you simply close it but if you want it longer you can carry on until you get the tail you want and how long you want it to be okay so i'm just simply going to close it and that's it that's all we need to do and all we need to do now is just to add the pom-pom so cut your yarn off fasten it and obviously you can just um get it in or just get your hand inside and get it in with your hook there you go and it's inside now for the pom pom it's very easy simply just take your yarn you can use red or white it's up to you or you can mix them together and simply just wrap it around your hand like this as many times as you want so the more time you go around it will get bigger and thicker like this one here so we want something like this so i've rubbed the yarn about 50 times now i'm simply going to snip it off take it off and get another piece of string longer about 30 centimeters and simply place it right in the middle and make it very tight as tight as you can and a little knot there we go and hold these two strings like this and just get the scissors and go right in the middle and cut it off and then once you cut all these bits you just need to trim it and now i like to go really short so it looks more thicker so just trim it trim it trim it trim it and this is my pom pom so all we have to do is just to attach it and our head is finished so simply just insert your hook inside your head like this somewhere in the middle somewhere here and go from one piece of string from one side and one piece of string from the other so your pom-pom will get right in the middle so um, grab one side and pull it inside your head just like this exactly the same from the other side so we'll go one side in and from the other side and just get it in 
and now once you got the both sides in you just need to turn your head inside out or just put your hand inside first grab those strings turn it inside out and you should have all the strings out and all you have to do just to do a knot nice and tight and don't worry about this you can just snap it on turn it inside out Excuse all this mess and our hat. You can obviously make a bigger pom pom, it's up to you. But I think this is just right for me. And this is your Christmas hat finished. So, there you go, guys. Simply fold your ribbon. And our Christmas hat is looking amazing, lovely. So there we go. Merry Christmas. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like my video, share my video and Merry Christmas. And thank you very much for watching.